Welcome back. This is going to be my daily kind of forecast for uh, Wednesday, uh, October 7, 2020 for the indexes in the United States. And uh, if you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscriber button down here in the corner, hit the bell button and the like button, and uh, let's get to it. So we'll start by looking at the S&P, and it has not been a very good day for the S&P 500, mainly due to that that the major tech stocks are all down almost two, three to two percent. And as they are a major part of the S&P 500, then of course this will basically the S&P 500 will get hammered. Um, so. At this point, we are trading above the 50 moving average. We have found resistance at 3,400, which was expected. Um, this area here, sorry, uh, this area here is expected to be significant resistant. And I don't believe that we'll get through this area without additional stimulus. And I don't believe that is going to happen before the election. Um, so my best guess is that we are going to see a lot of back and forwards towards this, uh, resistant area here towards the hundred moving average, and then up and down uh, for the next few weeks before the election. I would be really surprised if we broke through this uh, level and went to the all time highs without any additional stimulus. The market is basically screaming stimulus at this point and I just don't see uh, Republicans and Democrats coming together and making a major stimulus bill just before the election. That uh, I would be really surprised, but who knows? In this day and age, anything can happen. At this point, we are trading above the 50 moving average, which means that it is uh, a support. The same goes for these expansion, exponential moving averages. If they break, we'll go towards the lows here of the 3,242. And I believe that is where we are going. If you look at the technical indicators, uh, the MACD is about to turn around, indicating bearish momentum. RSI is technically flat. The, uh, the Bollinger Band is atop of the Bollinger Band, but the stochastic is about to turn around, indicating that we are going to low go lower. We may do the same thing as we did here, break towards the, the 40 exponential moving average at 3,351 3, and then bounce and then stay in this area. We may as well go all the way down towards the 50, 100 moving average and then go, uh, go uh, and bounce from there. I don't believe that will break the 100 moving average. Uh, we did test it several times and, and we got rejected. And, and I don't believe that we'll break this area here uh, before any new stimulus. If this breaks, then there's technically no reason for any stimulus. So if you look at the Dow Jones, so I need to get rid of all these things. So, sorry. So the Dow Jones did rally in, the, in this early session. We gave back some of the gains. We are trading at 28. 1196 at this point and at this moment i believe that we are going to go towards the 50 moving average um, the technical indicators are fairly flat at this point our stochastic is showing signs of weakness to in probably one or two more tra training day uh, trading days then we'll go uh, downwards again and that means that we will probably go towards the 50 moving average first if that's breaks then we'll go towards the 100 moving average at 26,823 uh, $24. To the upsides we have this area here which we have run into resistance. We need to break that area in order to get to these highs and as well as the S&P 500 I just don't see that it's going to be the case without any additional stimulus at this point. So we look at the NASDAQ, the NASDAQ has pulled back quite significantly and you can see the tech stocks here and you can see my videos of the tech stocks. They are not doing very well today and of course that will affect the NASDAQ quite significantly. We have pulled back uh, nearly 1% uh, 
And uh, at the moment, we're trading at 11,418, and we are trading above the 50 moving average. However, the technical indicators for the NASDAQ are getting worse, especially the stochastic is indicating that we are going to go lower from here. But as long as we are trading above the 50 moving average, that will be support. We need to break the 50 moving average in order to go towards the 100 moving average at 10,700. I would not be surprised if that uh, if that happens. Um, uh, we may see the same thing for the, the for the S&P 100, where we basically go towards the 100 moving average and then up towards these highs again, and then just trade in between this area before the elections. Uh, if we get additional sim stimulus, then of course th this market, as well as the Dow Jones and S&P 100, will go significantly higher. But we have been rejected several times at this area here. And I just don't see that this is possible without any additional stimulus. So uh, you're welcome to support our channel and uh, hit the like, the subscriber button down here in the corner, the bell button and the like button. And uh, good luck and happy trading. Thank you.